crime was spiking. Mm -hmm. I reformed LAPD, hired Bill Bratton. We dropped crime by 30%. That was a crisis situation. That was L.A. mayoral candidate Rick Caruso's interview with me as he launched his campaign. New reporting in today's L.A. Times shows Caruso missed 40% of meetings when he was president of the police commission. That, after a story in Saturday's Times that touted his role in the hiring of Bill Bratton and the decision not to give another term to then LAPD chief Bernard Parks. Former chief Bernard Parks joins us live. He's got a lot to say about that Caruso decision. Welcome back to the show. Good to see you. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Uh, you wrote a lengthy retort, 12 pages on your Twitter account, at Bernard C. Parks. People can read the whole thing. But for people that haven't read the whole thing, what is sort of your main point when it comes to what Rick Caruso is saying right now about you and crime in Los Angeles? Yeah, I, I sat here on retirement trying to enjoy myself. But then after you begin to see the four years that we've had in uh, in Washington with uh, a president that continued to say wrong things and try to convince people. We see what's happening in Russia where people are telling people that Nazis are in the Ukraine. At some point when you find someone that keeps repeating misinformation, you have to correct it. Uh, as I've said before, we published a four-year report before I left uh, the uh, police department. I testified before counsel before I left and gave him the statistics as we know them. And yet we have uh, Mr. Crusoe that picks and chooses statistics that he likes. When I left LAPD in 2002, crime was at a 30-year low. There was no dispute in it. The Times ver verified it. And then he talks about a 30% drop and doesn't give us any timeline of when that occurred. But what he also missed is that in 2016, the LA Times reported that LAPD had experienced eight consecutive years of underreporting crime. And so we wonder how much that underreporting is part of his 30%. And so he uses words that have no definition. He says things were a crisis. He doesn't say what the crisis was. He says things were a mess. He doesn't say what the mess is. And so. I've had a history of trying to clarify what the record is so that people that are interested in the truth can find it very easily. On the paper that you're talking about, everything is documented with a footnote. It came out of local newspapers, came out of magazines, yeah. came out of stories. And so I'm not just talking about material. I'm telling you the factual circumstances, which is contrary to what he chooses to talk about and why he brings up something 20 years ago, if that's his only accomplishment, then he said he's got a real problem in trying to figure out why he wants to be mayor. Of course, 20 years ago, he's talking about hiring Bill Bratton when he was the president of the police commission. We offered Rick Caruso a chance to join us tonight. His team sent us this statement. Let's put it up on the screen. Quote, the facts speak for themselves. Rick Caruso's tenure as president of the LAPD commission resulted in the hiring of the best police chief in America transformative reforms of the department, and a 30% reduction in crime. Angelinos want a mayor who can clean up homelessness, crime, and corruption. The attacks won't distract from the fact that our leaders have failed to solve the biggest challenges facing our city. That from the Rick Caruso campaign. What's your response to that? I, th I think what you have is, again, a person that's articulating issues that have no substance. He's made the determination about uh, things being transformed. Yet, right after Bratton left, we found out that he had implemented the stop and frisk uh, kind of policing that was something in which LA city officials were not aware of. And recently, the city count, the uh, commission has put an order out about making these kinds of stops indiscriminately. And then you find that he says those things, but he has really no substance to show that they're accurate. And he, again, avoids the conversation by being here and talking about it, or as he was at a recent uh, debate, when they asked him about his income tax, he said, uh, I'll do it if everyone else does it. And then we find out today, he didn't do anything he said he was gonna do. And so I think if you go back and look at his performance at USC and see the eight to 10 scandals that are going on simultaneously, you'll find he is not the guy that claims that he's going to fix things. 
he's got a solution looking for a problem. He's not identified anything as far as what the city really needs. He's going to take over people's abandoned property. He's going to bring 1,500 options. He doesn't have a clue how much that costs the city and what are you going to cut to make that happen. And to yeah. talk about you're going to find a billion dollars in the city budget due to a fraud or waste, there's not that much discretionary money out of eight to nine billion dollars. Right. Most of the money in the city budget deals with personnel costs sure. where you'd have to start cutting people instead of having programs. Well, he so said, yeah, these are things. Yeah, just, yeah, just to clarify that, some of these things. So he says he's going to spend a billion dollars, find that in waste, fraud, and abuse to hire uh, 1,500 new LAPD officers on the street, yes, which some people yes. have questioned whether that's possible. At USC, during our debate, he mentioned that he would release how much he paid in taxes. <laughs> if you actually really listen to him, he never said that he was going to release his tax returns. A lot of people interpreted that way. The other candidates were willing to do that. And so he ended up releasing how much he paid in taxes. Some have criticized that decision, including the LA Times with an editorial. Uh, we've heard more from the Caruso are... campaign tonight. I want to just uh, share some of what they've said. New tonight, maybe it had to do with this, maybe not. Maria Shriver, the former first lady of California, Democratic icon, um, announced that she is going to be supporting uh, Rick Caruso's run for uh, mayor, that she's endorsing him. Uh, we also got some new endorsements that they wanted to announce tonight. Uh, maybe it's a coincidence of the timing. This is from the National Association of Police Officers, the California Coalition of Law Enforcement, uh, the ALADS, which is county sheriffs, LA school police, all of those unions, they say, breaking news tonight, are going to be endorsing Rick Caruso. Um, you have not made an endorsement yet. Um, my guess is you're not going to be endorsing Rick Caruso. But uh, do you know <laughs> who you might be endorsing? Want to make no. some news uh, tonight or, or respond well, to some of I, those? What I generally do is I sit down with friends and relatives and we discuss these things before the election. But I think that list of law enforcement agencies, to clarify, you have to realize that Rick Caruso was the person that was on the mainstream with Han to give a three day work week to basically yeah. for an endorsement. Yeah. I, I, I hate to. And, but I'm just saying, also reducing the discipline system All almost right. to All right. a, a situation that doesn't work. So these I, are things that. I'm out of time. I'm way over time. <laughs> we got we to gotta go. Thank you so much for sharing your, sharing your perspective. We'd love to have you back, and we'll be right back. Okay.